Hopefully you've seen my video about how to pick a project for your software engineering internship resume, but if you haven't, that's okay. Whether you have a project done or not, my name is Alex. I was a Google intern. Now I'm going full time at Datadog. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the role that a project plays on your resume in the interview and on the job so that you can know how to utilize that project to its maximum effectiveness. Your project is going to do a few things on your resume. It's going to show that you have a certain expertise in a subject. It's going to back up some of the claims of technologies that you understand and it's going to show a natural curiosity in certain subfields of software engineering. If you're trying to apply to a niche company like NVIDIA doing low level computer graphics stuff, then having a project on your resume in that field with some NVIDIA technologies is really going to show to the recruiter that you're interested in working with NVIDIA, not just because they're a brand name, but because you want to learn what they have to teach you. What recruiters are looking for in new grads and interns are people that they can teach and building projects shows that you can teach yourself and you're naturally curious in computer science and software engineering, which means it's going to be a lot easier to teach you and you have a lot more potential. And in showing what expertise you have, projects are really going to back up the lists of technologies that you understand. If you just list C and C++ on your resume, but you don't actually have any experience or projects backing that up, the recruiter is going to assume that you only have kind of a cursory understanding of those technologies. Projects can also make you more well-rounded if you're, say, a computer science student with some research experience, but you don't necessarily have experience in building a REST API or using Git and GitHub. Just showing that you're not only a computer science student, but also a software engineer means, again, that you're going to be more teachable, that you're going to be a better software engineering intern, and you're going to be able to hit the ground running. In the interview process itself, it's important to understand that no one's really looking at the code in these projects. That would be ridiculous. If it was a class project, then maybe you didn't write all the code. It was with a group or the kind of standards for how that assignment was graded had nothing to do with software engineering principles like code cleanliness and being bug free. So they wouldn't expect you to kind of have code written to the standard of that company. They're going to teach you their code standards. They don't need to look at your code now to determine whether or not you can get there. Even if you didn't finish the project, because no one's looking at the code, no one's compiling it, and really they're just going to be asking you questions during the interview process about what you learned and what you might have done different, it's okay to put half-finished projects or very buggy projects on your resume so long as you can carry on a substantial conversation about it were you to be asked about that project in an interview. When you load into an interview before you get to, say, the leak code code style data structures and algorithms questions, the software engineer that you're speaking to might scan your resume, pick a project tangentially related to what he does full time and ask you a couple of questions. It's in part to make sure you're not lying on your resume, but also just to see if you're capable of handling a conversation with a software engineer about code that you wrote. Again, this is a way that companies can tell how teachable you are. If you just mindlessly followed a tutorial to get a project on your resume and you stare at the software engineer with a blank look on your face because you really have no idea how to answer his question, that's a bad look. And that's why you should actually be building your projects, reading the documentation, getting an understanding for how everything works, and not just copy pasting code from GitHub. And because they don't actually care whether or not your code compiles, please don't add work in progress to your resume. Please do not kind of in any way demean the project that you completed. But do add a link to the GitHub. Even if no one's looking at the code, it's good to have a link to the GitHub just as a kind of sanity check for recruiters in later stages of the process to make sure okay, yes, you did actually write some code. They're not looking at the code, but they're just making sure, you know, it exists. You're a real person. You didn't completely lie your way through the interview process, which is probably a little bit more possible than, you know, people would be comfortable knowing. Because you're trying to impress recruiters and software engineers with your projects, try and get a couple of metrics out of it. If, say, you implemented your own version of a tool that you usually just use an out-of-the-box solution for, a great project idea, by the way, if you're constantly using, say, React on the front end and you want to build your own kind of front end library, super simple, super bare bones, you know, you're not going to match the quality and quantity of React on the front end, but in general, implementing tools that you have experience with is a very good project idea. In doing so, you can maybe compare your implementation to the out-of-the-box solution and find some way to optimize just a small portion of it to compare and throw those metrics, you know, X percent faster than out-of-the-box solutions on your resume. That's going to lead to very strong conversations in the interview and really stand out to recruiters. It's also important to understand the role that projects can play on the job. You know, if you're doing a project, you really fall in love with the type of work, the type of software engineering, then you apply to those 
those types of companies, then that project essentially kind of inspired you to get a particular job, go down a particular subfield in software engineering. And if you find a subfield in software engineering that you have some natural curiosity about, then that's going to just let you be a much better software engineer on the job. Building projects is also going to just get you used to writing code, get you used to kind of the repercussions of writing bad codes. Most computer science projects maybe take a couple days to do. If you're doing a project over the course of a few weeks and you make a mistake early on in that process, that might come back to bite you. And going through that whole process, get, understanding how Git and GitHub works and writing your own code in your own style is going to teach you a lot that on the job will come through in conversations with other software engineers, your manager, and just overall how fast you can learn what the company is trying to teach you. So projects are important on your resume in the interview and on the job. And if you need an idea for what project to build, like I said, there's a video already on my channel linked below. Peace.